In just two days, an unmanned spacecraft will be returning to Earth, landing here in the land of enchantment. And where it's landing at has a unique history. News 13's Gabe Chavez has the story. Currently, we're targeting this Friday, September the 6th, uh, 604 Eastern uh, uh, on dock um, and a landing at the White Sand Space Harbor just after midnight at around 1204 Eastern. A mission that's bringing New Mexico into the national spotlight once again. NASA will be attempting to undock the unmanned Boeing Starliner from the International Space Station and land it at White Sands this weekend. This mission was supposed to have two astronauts from the ISS on board, but that had to change due to problems with helium leaks and the spacecraft's thrusters delaying its return. It's about a 60 second deorbit burn, and that's the critical thing that needs to happen to get the the crew module on a safe trajectory uh, to enter into the atmosphere and then land at White Sands. White Sands has a history of space aviation. In 2022, Boeing landed its unmanned Starliner at the Space Harbor. Software errors delayed that project by two years, and it took almost four hours for the craft to parachute safely down to White Sands. It will then be slowed by parachutes to a speed you may experience, for example, while going down an elevator inside a skyscraper. If you can think of that feeling, um, that is what our astronauts would be feeling inside. Boeing also landed another spacecraft at White Sands in 2019. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. NASA will be live streaming the undocking and the landing on its websites. The astronauts stuck in the ISS went up into orbit on the Starliner in June and we're only supposed to be there for eight days. They will now return to Earth on a different spacecraft in February of next year. <laughs>